If you're an Aries sun, this is what might happen to you this fall season. Please only take what resonates. So for you, we have Ace of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. We have number 18, the Moon. We have King of Swords. We have Seven Pentacles and King of Cups and Six of Wands. So for you, um, you are someone who tends to be very hard-headed, very stuck in their ways, right? And for some of you Aries people, you have been working on moving on from your past, moving on from some hurt and pain that you experienced or have been experiencing, and trying to evolve and change certain destructive patterns of behavior so you can have a better life but then there are some of you who are struggling to do that so this fall season it's all about letting go of your past and giving birth to something new because underneath the ace of wands we have the ten of cups right which is fulfillment right and then we have three of empress which is like giving birth to something new right so for you some of you, you have been holding on to some hurt and pain from the past, like, oh, this person did me wrong, or yada, yada, yada. And if we're being honest, right, even though a lot of times things that we went through aren't our fault, there are ways that we have participate, participated in those things going on a lot longer than they need to, right? So those that situation may not be happening anymore, but you may have been allowing those emotions, right? That hurt and pain from those experiences to control your life, drowning in the water of those emotions instead of flowing with them, understanding them, acknowledging them, and finding the root of the problem and working through that right this require you to adjust to change because a lot of y'all don't like change but change is so so important if you want to see your life flourish right you have to change the seeds that you are planting so some of you aries this this fall season you're you have been working on planting some beautiful high vibrational seeds to create some abundant trees right then there's some of you who are struggling and are still planting those low vibrational seeds of hurt pain and fear then wondering why it's sprouting into these dead and just like shadowy trees this energy that you're putting out is the energy that you're getting back so you're going to hold yourself accountable and shift some behaviors okay we need some behavioral shifts in the right direction where you are acknowledging the hurt accepting the hurt and working through the root of the problem okay taking accountability okay all right so you good luck to you you have a blessed day have a blessed season follow me for more and i'll see you bye you have Aries moon. This is what might happen to you this fall season. Please only take what resonates. So for you, we have number 19, the sun. We have 10 of pentacles. We have five, the hierophant. We have eight of swords. We have two of swords. We have nine of cups. And we have eight of pentacles. So for you, the... The universe, the world is trying to tell you, you know, we have all of the abundance. Everything that you ever desired or wanted, worked your ass off for, is right here in front of you. We are, have given you the golden staircase, all the pentacles for you to plant and enjoy. You just gotta walk the path. But the thing that's preventing you from walking the path to all this, you know, abundance and all this knowledge and wisdom, right, is you yourself and chew child okay all right listen because you are given the opportunity to have abundance have the your ideal relationship your ideal work environment career environment your ideal lifestyle your ideal everything but the only thing that's stopping you is you you're being blinded to your truest desires because you're choosing to deny your truest desires one thing that is common amongst people with heavy Aries energy trying to grow and evolve is that they have a hard time aligning their truest desires with their actions and their words because a lot of times they'll convince themselves that they aren't who they really are or that they don't want what they truly do want right so you want all these nice things that you're thinking of right now that come to mind as you're watching this but you're telling yourself no i shouldn't want that no i don't need that no i can settle for this i can do less with this i can do i'm fine with this little bit of stuff that i got here even though it doesn't make me happy even though it doesn't make me feel fulfilled fulfilled even though it doesn't make me feel like jumping up and down feeling joyful about my life it might be 
eh, and it might be crossing my boundaries or it might not meet my standards, but it's fine. It's okay. I don't need that other stuff. That's a lie. Stop lying to yourself. You are being given that golden staircase to get to where you want to go, right? Don't stop telling yourself that you're not good enough or it's never going to happen or trying to br humble yourself, right? Why would you humble yourself? You're the one who has to live with you. So why would not why would you not hype yourself off up and be like, listen, I'm gonna get this bag. I'm gonna get all of this that I deserve because I work my ass off. I'm an amazing person, I'm a beautiful person, and I deserve it. Okay. Do not fumble this bag, all right? It's you, it's you getting in your way. Do not get in your own way. Enjoy life to its fullest. All right. Okay, you have a blessed day and a blessed season. Follow me for more. Bye.